Yo, what's going on YouTube? Technically T man, another video today. iPhone 10s Max white stone dome tempered glass screen protector installation and review, man. Now a huge shout out for White Stone for sending me the screen protector. You already know I've been doing this video plenty of times. I've installed this plenty of times, and I'm still nervous every single time that I get behind camera to review and install this screen protector. So let's go ahead and get about this packaging. Let's go ahead and put everything out and I'm, I'm gonna show you. Of course, we're gonna walk through this thing one by one. So let's go ahead and get everything about the packaging. All right, so we finally got everything out of the packaging. Now, only thing I have in front of me is what I'm working with at the time. All the other items are to my left side so I can pull them in one by one. And I'm basically, like I said, step you through this one at a time, one step at a time. So first thing as I always say, anytime you wanna install any screen protector, man, you wanna go ahead and power down your phone because you don't wanna to have to try to find these dust particles and things when you're trying to tap your screen and it continuously keeps waking up. First step, go ahead and turn off your iPhone 10s Max or any iPhone for that matter if you were watching this for an older iPhone. So always turn it off before you install. Next up, we're gonna first go ahead and clean your iPhone screen. And this step is crucial because you wanna make sure that you don't have any dust or debris when it comes to your iPhone. So let's go ahead and pick it up and just simply hit your iPhone screen like this. Just make sure there is no dirt, no smearing or anything you got it from your fingerprints while using it, anything like that. Just make sure you do wipe the screen clean. So after you do that for a little bit, we can go ahead and set that alcohol swab to the side because I may end up coming back to it. Now they did give us a little stack of cloths, but you want to just grab one and let's go ahead and dry this screen off. Once you get it all dried out, let's go ahead and move to the next step, man. Let's go ahead and put it in this frame. Now, here is the frame. Now it is gonna be a little confusing at first, but let's see the frame here, the little plastic frame, as you see it does say speaker at the top. So you basically wanna set that down where it says speaker on the top, had to blow that dust off real quick. And the same thing with the actual frame itself. It says speaker up there. Now they're, up, they're both backwards. So that's how you know you actually got it right when both of the speaker wording is backward. Make sure the little blue sticker little thing, I'm not sure what it's for, make sure that's at the bottom. So what you wanna do is, you wanna basically sit your iPhone in here, just place it there, and you're gonna place it down, and you're gonna kinda of finagle it a little bit until you get it snapped in, and you'll know once everything is snapped in. So now, one thing that I wanna do again real fast is just run back through with the alcohol swab because you never know, just between all that, you may have got some smudges back up here. So once again, you just wanna make sure all of those are clear. So we're just gonna rub that back down. Next thing's next, let's go ahead and take a dust remover sticker. Now Whitestone, you know, I rock with you heavy, but you gotta get some bigger stickers. These are just, I think these are just too small in my opinion for this installation. So you wanna go ahead and take a dust sticker and just pop this on down any dust that you see. Now I do have a few particles here and there. So I do wanna make sure I get them all up. So let's just go ahead and knock this out. Next, let's go ahead and install. They give you two little speaker stickers. So definitely you wanna do which it says speaker uh, film. So these are speaker films. So what you wanna do is just peel off one and you're gonna to wanna to cover up that notch area. So you just wanna simply put it over that just a little bit, just so it's covering. Move it down just a tad. Cool. You just want to make sure that speaker area is covered up where that notch is so you don't really get any glue into your speakers. All right, so once you have everything in the frame, once you have everything cleaned off, everything is good, you got your speaker film installed covering that speaker up top. Next thing you're going to want to do, now this is up to you. I'm not going to really use these, but they do have two little installation foams to where you can slide between so the glue doesn't run down in between. But one thing about these new frames, they don't really give you that much space to put these down in here. And I'm afraid once I do it, these might fall down and get more debris on my screen, whatever that much. Me, I'm not gonna use these. That's totally up to you. If you wanna use them, be my guest. Just be very careful with those. So we're gonna set those to the side and we're basically gonna skip over to the next step. So what you wanna do is you wanna get your glue bridge and you wanna put these down and make sure you just put them down in their two slots there. Next thing you wanna do is go ahead and grab your glue. Now you wanna go ahead and always remove the color top first. So once you remove that color top, you're gonna to wanna to screw this in the actual bridge itself. So just screw it in. Make sure once it snugs up a little bit, then you are good to go. All right, so once you got that screwed in, you are basically ready to release the glue. So what you're gonna do 
is just hold this down and you're going to screw this and what's basically going to do is un release that glue it's going to release the glue not unrelease if you unrelease it's going back up so it's going to release the glue so you can see here the glue is out now you basically want to let this sit as i always do give it a couple taps so you can get that lash drop out of there tap it a few times and you should be go definitely make sure all of the glue is on the screen now once you do so you can basically remove that remove the little valve sit that to the side and also remove your frame here you are done with that and sit that to the side as well. Now, next up, we're gonna go ahead and take our screen protector here. Now this de definitely only has one sticker size. So what you're gonna do is peel this off. All right, boom. And you are going, let me turn this, hope I don't mess this up. Let's go ahead and turn this around. And what you're gonna do is basically line it up to the frame now it's easy pretty easy to line up because they do have little notches here so we can line it up pretty easy and you really don't have to worry anything let it rest on this little plastic flap once again this is a new design because before you would stick little plastic clear little car mechanism and then put it out screen to fall but now they're rocking with a different mechanism so we're going to see how this works out man this is pretty nervous they do have a slider card here now this is branded white stone dome this is a part of their new design. So when you see, when you're looking at the frame, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to see on camera, but it says start and there's an end. So what you want to do, and there's two little grooves to where you can put this in. So there's a groove here and there's a groove there. Now, we are going to glide this along and see how this performs. This will actually put the screen protector on the actual device. So let's go. I'm nervous like you guys are, man. So hold everything together, and we're just going to try to figure out the best way to do this. We're going to just glide along. Boom. All right, so you basically what you're doing is just pressing it down, and then it's basically going to do its own thing. You're pressing it down, kind of forcing it down, and this flat will then release, and it will actually drop down on your device. So as you see, the glue is adhering, and hopefully we got this bad boy right because you already know White Stone Domes, they are an expensive piece of glass when it comes to this, man. But you can remove them if you do mess up. But luckily, on this channel, I haven't had to remove them, man, because my installations have been pretty, pretty good. And once again, I'm doing this behind camera. So we're just going to go ahead and give it a quick moment. Let us do its thing. And as soon as it finishes doing its thing, man, we're going to go ahead and come back to this video. All right. So after a minute or two, man, I think the glue is all settled. It should have been all the way to the top. And it looks like it's reached all the way to the bottom. So now it is time for the curing process so we're definitely going to take out the light that they provide us white stone dome glass usb so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to plug it into my imac right here so let me reach over the camera boom let's go ahead and plug that into the imac and then we are going to plug this in the micro usb the old school plug man let's go ahead and plug it into the old school plug boom all right so we're going to basically cure this right now. I'm going to go 30 seconds and we'll speed the, you know, we'll speed it up to where you don't have to look at everything, but we're going to do 30 seconds for right now. And basically what it does is it has these little feet here. Boom. You're going to want to turn it on and let's just kind of do 30 seconds each. Well, we do 15 seconds right now, 15 sections for each three sections. All right, so I did 15 seconds basically during each layer. One, two, three. I basically done the top, the middle, and then the bottom. So now let's go ahead and restart removing some of this stuff, man. Let's go ahead and set up for our final curing process. So we're going to move all the frame. Be very careful because, you know, some glue may have came out. You know, it is what it is. You can kind of clean it up a little bit on the sides here. I know I had a little spill out, so you can kind of just rub. And that's why I say keep that alcohol swab. And you just kind of want to, let's pick it up real quick. And you just want to run, you know, kind of clean it off a little bit. All right, so you get the phone mostly cleaned up. You still might have to do some final cleaning up at the very end. What you want to do is you want to bring this, you know, you want to bring the UV light back over here. So now do 30 second sessions, man. Top, middle, and the bottom. So here we go.
All right, so that's basically it for the curing. We should be good to go. We shouldn't have to do that no more, and everything should be a one. Now, the next step, your phone is basically ready, man, but what I'm going to say is the next step, you get one more alcohol swab. So let's go ahead and pull this off. Pick your phone up now, and you should be good to go, man. Now this is what I call the final cleanup. So you hit all those edges real good. Get all some of that dried up glue off of it. You know, rub down the edges very good all the way around. And even flip it over on the back. You might have some glue on the back of it. Rub that down as well. And like I said, this is the final cleanup. And then you you ready to go, man. You can ready to use your 10s Max. Final cleanup. Go all the way around it. Boom, boom, boom. All right, cool. Final cleanup is done. So take one of those cloths, and now you're just going to dry it off now. So just simply dry it off. Flip it on the back. Dry it off, hit those edges. Overall, man, here is the White Stone Dome for the iPhone XS Max. And you get right up on those edges. You can kind of see there how close it gets to the edge of the now the bad bottom is all scratched up and stuff, man. That's 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 the that's due to me giving you case reviews, man, and popping these cases on and off. But here it is. That's basically how close that you can get to the edge. But overall. The screen protector is good. Here is the notch area up close. I think behind camera, I did a pretty dope job installing this White Stone Dome. Now, let me go ahead and grab my, my go-to cases that I'm rocking with these days. You know, for one, I'm rocking with the Rhino Shield Solid Suit, man. So let's go ahead and pop it in. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, hey, is it compatible with these cases? Here it is, Rhino Shield Solid Suit. No issues with this case whatsoever. Now, it did pop on because the case is tight. I might have accidentally pressed the button. But it is what it is. But here it is. Definitely compatible with the Rhino Shield Solid Suit. Now, removing this case, let's go ahead and pop on one of my other cases that I'm rocking with these days. And that is the Pataka Mac Case Pro. Now, I've been rocking with this case basically on my 10s Max. So, let's go ahead and pop this on. And you know this is an extreme tight fitting case. And even with the Pataka Mac Case Pro on, there is also perfect fit gets right to that edge but it doesn't quite touch it so overall man i think we have a success with the white stone dome tempered glass screen protector now once again i know this video take a long time man but i like to walk with you guys just how you'll be installing it i don't want to skip a step i don't want to do anything i want to give you guys tips along the way when it comes to installing this but here it is white stone dome for the iphone 10s max i will leave the link down in the description below and hey, grab it, man. If you want to do it, definitely refer back to this video. Take your time and you will get good results when installing this White Stone Dome Glass. But until next time, man, give this video a thumbs up. If you found it helpful, if you installed your White Stone Dome off this video, man, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down, man. It is what it is, man. But technically, T, I'm going to catch you on the next one, guys. Later.